everybody, it's Carlan, the Daydreamer. So today we're reviewing two Jaclyn Hill palette products, which is basically the Jaclyn palette from Morphe. And I also have all the brush sheets from Jaclyn Hill from Morphe. So keep watching to see me doing my makeup with it. Thank you. First of all, on this video I'm gonna do my base because basically I, mean, I need to test out all our brush to see, show you how it works. So to do that I do I need to do my base in front of you to show me use all those brushes and comment about them. So first of all I'm gonna go with foundation. So I will start by the Morphe M439. This brush, I love it. I just love it. It's just my ride of or die brush basically. I just blend all my foundation with that and it just does a great job. I like it better to use a sponge because it's faster but what I do usually I just spread all my um, foundation with that brush then I see some brush mark what I do with it as I go back with my sponge that I wet with just water. Just get one of those at Doloramo. I just do a few streaks with the sponge just to make my skin more even and it does the job very well. Her 39 is very great so yeah this one I really love it, it's close to my heart. Then after I'll do my uh, Shape Take Contour Concealer. So I like to take this same brush to spread it all over. I tried to E8 that she did use with it but I don't like it because it's just not I mean it's just not spreading the product as even as like if I use this one I don't know this one is just bigger and faster I just like it better but it's up to you she did she she did say that she cover she used the eight for blemishes but I don't have a lot of blemishes so I don't know I can't test it out but I don't really use it much like I mean I don't know to me it's just not u that useful but I'll try under my nose there because this leave marks I'm just gonna go with my sponge but I think any brush does that so I don't think that's the fault of the product but the fault of the brush because that's what they do they leave marks so I usually I just go back with my sponge and spread it I'm gonna try E47 that she used for powder. I don't really reach for it much because usually I just like to put powder under my eyes. But today I'm gonna go with my Charlotte Tilbury and put powder all over the place. So now it's done. So this is very quick to do your powder. It's not precise, but it's just two swipe you're done. Like, I mean, pow, 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 pow. So it's depending on your skin, but I. I think it's a very quick way to apply evenly powder, so it's depending if you like putting powder, that would be your only grade. But if you don't put that much powder, you just you have dry skin, you only put it under the eyes, you'd better get something a little smaller. But I guess Jacqueline Hill likes a big one. <laughs> so next you have the contour brush. You have two contour brush basically that she did uh, put on her kit. You got the Air 10 and the M47. Basically this one is just the one you put the powder like less thick. Which I use a lot. I like it. And apparently this one is for just go back and put more powder and be more precise about your contour. I do like it too. I don't reach as much for it because I, I don't put a lot of contour because I'm light so... But it does work very well. So those two, I like them overall. So then after she did use that brush, she just use it for two things. One for baking, I'm gonna do baking later and for nose contour. So I just put some here and I do my nose contour. I like it because it's very quick one step thing. So, oh, I did put a lot of powder. I have to be very gentle with powder because of my like very fair skin. I like it, it's very quick, it does spread the product pretty even. So now I'm just gonna go back with my beauty sponge and just melt it away. I don't usually contour because 
my nose because I don't know my nose is already pretty there so I don't like to emphasize it might be my powder it's a little dark but oh well it's not a big deal now I'm gonna go with bronzer she used that brush for bronzer which is the R2 so I'm gonna go with my Eula I do like that brush for bronzer it does spread the product evenly which I like I mean and it's very quick so that's a good brush uh, because I used to use a Real Technique contour brush, but this one is better because this one spread the product evenly and Real Technique one let some patches of color on my skin and I didn't like it. So yeah, this blend the product and evenly better, so it saves me time. So this brush is really good. So now I'm gonna go into blush. So for the blush, I'm gonna go with the Tarte in the color Party. Party! Yay! So this brush really works well, it does the job and I don't know, I like it. I'm gonna try this brush, which is the I'm 5 Thin and I'm gonna go into my Jeffree Star Platinum Ice with the color Ice Cold and yeah, it works very well, I really like it. It's a very good brush. I use it all the time for highlighting. I do put a lot of highlights, so. So, and there's this brush for the face because I'm on the face, but I'm gonna use it later after baking. So basically for all our brush, it's very nice. I like it. it. It does very well the job for the face. Now I'm gonna bake. So this, you can also use it other than for nose control. You can bake under your eyes and just do that precise light with your baking powder. I'm using the MRCA No Color Powder. People use Nora Mercier, but Laura Mercier I find very expensive, so I don't know, I just didn't spend for it. So you see, you can do a very even line just to bake your face. And then after I go with the sponge and just put that under the eyes. Then later I'll use this one to remove the bake. So basically all of those brush are very great for the face. I'll be back later with my eyes, so keep watching to see the eye brush. So now we're gonna do the hard part, the eyes, because there's so many brushes here, it's kind of confusing. So I'm gonna review the Jaclyn Hill palette on that. On the Jaclyn Hill palette, I really like this palette, it's very pigmented, easy to use, and there's all sort of pretty color, and I'm gonna do an entire look with that. And I'm gonna use all our brushes. I'm gonna start by matte color and blending. I'm gonna start by transition shade. So I'm gonna go with the third color here, this page, and I'm gonna put it all over the lid with the M504. She does say that it's a lid color brush. It's perfect for diffusing the color evenly on the lid. So I'm just gonna do that. So yeah, she's right about that. It didn't one swipe. So yeah, she's right about that. This one. 504 does what it says. So after that I have the 518 that's good for blending uh, stubborn shadow. I'll be back with that when I'm there. And then after you got that round brush she said it's for to uh, blend the wash of color. So basically I'm gonna go into this browner shade here. So our shadow does have some fallout in the pan but they go very well for blending. And on the eyes, it doesn't fall out much on there, so it's pretty good. Apparently, the Air 37 is the first blending brush she used for shadow, so I'm gonna use it right now and put it with that um, brown shade right there. So since it's kind of looking funny because I guess I use a too dark shadow, I'm just gonna blend it with this that she says she's, it's good for blending the 518 and just put the shadow in there and just blend it. It does it does blend it well. You don't want any harsh line when you do your shadow, so that's the most important thing. So then after that, the Air 13 Shorter Bristle Curve Crease. So this one is perfect for carving the crease. So I guess I'm gonna go with a darker color. So I'm gonna go with that brown there. And just put it on the crease. I'm just going with cooler color because I'm gonna do a cooler look. Our shadow blends very well guys, it's very nice. 
Now the M573 Apply matte shadow in an area. Apparently that's great for that. So I'm just gonna apply in the matte shadow with that and just go back to that brown and just try to smoke out that color a little bit. Ah, it does a very good job on that. Then after I uh, she used the M433. She says Oliero blending brush. I think on her video she used it for even put it, it more precise in there. So I'm gonna go with that dark brown right there and just put it on my crease even closer. I use those two shades basically. So you see my crease are more defined. So I'm gonna go back with my 518 and that color that I used earlier for, and I'm just gonna blend everything basically together. So now I'm done with the matte shadow and the blending there. So basically, it's very I like those brush for that. I, she did put out a lot of blending brush, and it's confusing. I guess blending is very important to Jacqueline Hill. So I guess that's the most important thing of her makeup. So that's why she put so many blending brush. But it is true though. That's what makes your makeup stand out. I mean, that's and I think the brush that she used for that it's pretty good so I'm new to blending so I'm not as perfect as her but I can do it so then after we got those round brush I got three round brush basically those three so basically this one she says she used it to pack product and add blend so before I start using those round brush I'm just gonna go with this brush that she did provide the M413 and I'm gonna carve a dark crease uh, like I'm gonna do a spotlight eyes with those so I'm gonna go with that uh, Maybelline product the eye studio and I'm just gonna carve a crease this is basically your eyeliner so for doing that I'm trying to go bigger on the inner corner it's gonna make my shadow pop a lot So I'm gonna go with my Jeffree Star. Just tap onto that white part there. I don't have any white eyeliner, so I just use my lipstick from Jeffree Star. It does work well for... I do like having it, just to have a white creamy product that doesn't crack. I don't really use it on my lips, but it's just a white. A great white base for everything, basically. Or if I just want to make a lipstick paler. So basically she did say she used this one for putting product on and blending it. So I'm trying I'm gonna try doing that. I'm just gonna go with my Master Fix and just wet it. And go into her palette and go into that blue shade. I don't think that's the right brush for that. I'm just trying to use all her brush basically. So then she said she used this uh, A18 favorite pencil brush. So blend shadow slowly. So I'm gonna just tap into that matte black and just gonna try to make it darker there. Teen, what is missing on our set? I would say it's a good, good round brush like this one. Maybe a little smaller than this one, I think, because it might be because Morphe is not our favorite. The packing brush, I think it's our favorite ma packing brush is from MAC, the 242 I think. Not sure, because I did watch a lot of videos, so. So as you see, since there's no packing brush, I have to do everything with that. Which is kind of annoying. So I'm gonna wet it again. Tap into that rose gold shade. And pack it in. This rose gold shade has a lot of follow, but it looks so pretty. It's just a dual chromey rose gold, it's just so pretty, I just love it. Just gonna pack it in the middle of that. Okay, so now I'm just gonna get blend that rose gold with that blue. So for doing that, I'm just gonna go into that purple shape and this red shape and just blend this color with the blue. Because basically pink is closer to like 
you add you add the to do to pink you get purple and darker red and then it's just gonna blend it like in a very pretty way so I'm just gonna go with that purple shade I wet my brush again and just do the edges I just packing a lot of color basically and now I'm gonna go into that red shade just to keep going I'm gonna wet my brush again so now I'm gonna go add some blue because I guess I blue almost disappeared so I'm just gonna add some blue so now I'll go under the eyes so for under the eyes I'm gonna go with her M43 uh, M42 brush it's this small packing brush and I'm gonna go with her palette and I'm gonna tap into that blue shade right there and I'm gonna wet my brush to get that very dramatic effect now I'm gonna stamp some black just right close to the eye just barely there closer to the and just half of the eye just to make it more pop now I'm gonna go with the E18 and I'm gonna take those two shades right there and just smoke out those two shades and smoke out that blue so after this I'm gonna go with the E36 and I'm gonna put the inner corner or highlight for that I'm gonna use that beam light beam color also blend it to my eyes and then I'm gonna go back with my rose gold pink color and just put it on top of being just to make it the same color but still paler than this here now I'm gonna go with my pencil brush here and I'm gonna tap a few times on the black and just a uh, line more black in here and I'm gonna pack more blue on that 213 brush and just add it to here to just not lose that blue shade there and I'm gonna go with that same brush because the E213 because with her brush, that's the brush I use the most because there is a flat brush missing and a few brush that would be useful if I was doing a full makeup. There's also a liner brush. But I guess, I mean, probably those, those brush she prefer other brand. So that's probably why it's called the, more, the Jacqueline Hill favorite. And I'm gonna go tap into that shade and just add the highlight there. It's a very good brush for that actually. So I'm not done for the eye brush. I hope I helped you demystify that. So basically our eye brush, I really love them. They're great. So for the bra, I'm gonna go with the Morphe M432. And I'm gonna go with my Chantal Lacroix bra powder. Just use whatever bra powder you got. And I'm just gonna Put some pigment in there. I'm gonna. I already have very defined bra, so I I don't add a lot. I just try to fill in the hole basically, and then I'll go here and just extend that bra to where whenever my eyes meet. That brush works for that. You can also use the liner brush. That's not part of the kit. So basically, what I do is I just fill in the, the hole. My bra are done. So I'll do my eyeliner, my lash off camera, and I'll be back with you. So now my eyes are done. So next, I'm gonna go do my lips. So for my lips, I guess I'll just go with my Jeffree Star Butt Naked. And after that, 
I'll just add more by light. So I'm gonna go with Becca Moonlight and also the Sophie XD pink color because I want to do that duochromey look. So now that I'm highlighted enough. So here are the swatches of the three first row of the uh, Jaclyn Hill palette. As you can see, those are the two highlighter. I love to use them as highlighter, they work very well. Um, this one is the yellowish. It's very good for blending and making color very more warm tone. Then you got a lot of transition shade. And those rose gold are so pretty. I mean, like even those copper reddish color are just gorgeous. And then you got a uh, other transition darker shade and that red is like really pretty like it's too chromey it's very pretty and then you got the two last row that are here so you got that pretty purple and the pretty blue and all those bronzy shade that are very pretty and then if you want to do a green blue look there's other shades and then darker transition shade that are very pretty so here's the last two row so here's the final look so I'll tell you my final thoughts for the brushes I really love most of the brushes I like I don't like them I love them like since I've got those brushes my makeup skills did get there like it's just like first of all I got good quality makeup then I watch a shit ton of YouTube video then I got those brushes like yeah it's just it just improved my makeup game uh, but I think if you want to do a new set and you, you really enjoy makeup I mean there's a few brush that's gonna be missing on that set so first of all you're gonna miss a good flat brush like I heard the MAC 242 is good, I don't know which one, I have no idea. You're gonna miss a good flat brush and a good liner brush and maybe a good angle brush for doing your bra, um, maybe a lip brush. But there's a few brush missing on the kit but I guess because it might just be the favorite from Jacqueline and those kind of brush she prefer other brands, I don't know. But on the 23 set of brush, it's missing and like on that you get 6 blending brush, like even 7 blending brush. And like you have a lot of these, you won't miss any blending brush. I guess blending is very important to Jacqueline, I guess she's right, like more you blend, better your makeup look. And you got like 3 of those round brush. And only one little flat brush, which I use for everything that I pack color on, so I had to wash it and wash it and wash it again. And what I mean is, it's kind of missing there, but it's depending what you want. If you're like me, a makeup artist that's starting and wants to start her own set, and I really have a few brushes, but is not sure which one she should buy from uh, Morphe, that Jacqueline Hill set would be perfect for you. But if you're a beginner and you just uh, want to do a few makeup look for you and something very simple don't get this you don't need 23 brushes yeah, It's depending what you want to do and for those few brushes that are missing I mean you can always order it on Morphe website like I mean they're like five to ten dollar brush I guess you could just order these off the Morphe website or you could just buy it somewhere else I mean it's not a big deal to me, but I'm just telling you my top because that's what I think. But every brush I got on that set, I love. I die from that. I just, I'm in love, basically. Every single brush. And also what I love about it is that case. It's just amazing. I put all my brush in, then if I have to go somewhere and on a hurry, I just go like that. Yeah, and I just close it and I can go somewhere. And after when I'm at that place, I just open it. And it's so quick to so quick to put all the things there. I mean, this this bag is great, and it's great for putting all my brush and looking for them and carrying them around. And it's black and pretty lip low part. It's just it's, it's great. This is like the best the best makeup holder ever. Like it's the best. I mean, it's it's perfect for traveling or not. And it's just great because usually they just give you something to go, and it's cheap and uh, this. What do you want me to do with this? Like I have to open that and actually 
those kind of brush set. What do you want me to do with that? I mean, it's kind of pointless. I don't know, I don't like them. Other than that, for the palette, I think you should get it. It's great. Uh, anywhere if you're a beginner or not, this is great. Like, I mean, the pigmentation is great, the color is great, and you can play with a lot of color there, and she did a great job with that. Uh, other than that, I think that's it. So, I wish you enjoyed my video, and I want you to subscribe, and bye-bye, have a nice day!